Hello everyone and welcome to Quality Old Games. Today we are having part 13 of our Extreme Difficulty Spain campaign. And the Extreme Difficulty practically means that uh, we can only train temple units. Oh, sorry, we cannot train any temple units. Uh, we cannot train any units on cities uh, that are below tier uh, 3. So only at tier 3 settlements. We cannot attack Numidia or their armies, but we can defend if they choose to attack us. And furthermore... Hmm, just wondering. Perhaps I should pull back. Because I would like to have Matugenus the Mighty leading the army, so... And there are quite a few of those armored hoplites here, I think I will pull back. And furthermore, we cannot build any ships. So that's basically it. And in the last episode, um, we managed to gain our first, uh, first foothold, or rather proper foothold in Greece, uh, by taking Thessalonica. And um, that's going to be our base of operations in our campaign here. Because here we can train and replenish troops, which is, well, kind of essential to keep our attack going. And, um, okay, we cannot have any mercenaries over there. And let's see if we could get these guys. Oh, that's a full Macedonian army, practically. Oh, actually, we could reinforce this army here. Okay, I guess that's the <coughs> best way to do it. Um, do we have... We, we have two siege towers, which actually is... Too little, in my opinion, to take such a settlement. So most likely we will be having a rather difficult battle ahead of us. In Thessalonica, now the question is... If we... Take the majority of the army out, okay. It can still hold. Um, I think... We will actually leave that, those troops as a garrison, and then we will continue to push with this army uh, towards Larissa, mainly. And actually, capturing one unit of Phalanx pikemen and some weaker units is rather nice, because we can whittle down Macedonian strength a bit by bit, and of course that will make capturing their settlements quite a bit easier. But I think um, we want these guys to handle the phalanx and then we want cavalry to handle the... the enemy reinforcements. I don't think they are actually reinforcing from the settlement, but rather uh, there was a, a small army camping outside. Okay, so now the plan here is to force those phalanx Units to turn their backs at least for against one of the missile units, and in this case, the archers can just wreck them. And if they turn around, we can inflict some nice damage from the rear with these guys as well. Oh, actually that's really nice damage, to be honest. And perhaps we could actually spare 
one cavalry unit to chase these guys when they do break. And I think break they will. Okay, good. Uh, that army apparently is advancing, so we are a bit on a timer. And that volley actually wasn't too good. And yeah. And I guess it's time for the Biap's final volley. Okay, not quite yet. Oh. Time to do something. Namely, take down those Peltasts. Okay, good. And you guys can catch them. And I guess I should be managing my cavalry. And I think you guys actually could continue chasing them and then... Okay, it's only Greek cavalry. Which is rather nice. We should be able to take them down rather easily. We have just tested that. Greek cavalry is rather abysmal. Could we perhaps hit them with the archers if they come to range? Okay, I guess we can... <coughs> <clears throat> Still whittle down at least some of them. And practically make sure that both of these armies will get disbanded. Yeah, that's quite devastating. Missile attacks already. Okay, and perhaps they might even be able to gain some experience. Or then perhaps not, but I think it's clean enough victory for us. Is a great victory. And Larissa is open in front of us. And actually, if we take the cavalry out, move them here first, begin the siege, I think we can... Uh, yeah, we can actually begin the siege. So if we had the infantry with us, uh, then we would have needed to wait for the next turn to begin the siege. So that's quite nice that way. And here we do have some mercenaries. Unfortunately, we don't need them at the moment, but uh, let's see if we could position our troops so that we could get the numerical superiority. Well, apparently we cannot. <clears throat> but yeah, I think we just have to fight against the Greeks. I mean, they have... I get it. I guess it's uh, actually four rather full armies in this area. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. We cannot kind of afford to let them run loose behind our armies, even if we could force them to turn back to, for instance, Athens and Sparta, if we manage to take them. But still, that's too big of a concentration of forces, so that I'm... Comfo uh, comfortable with them being at our rear. So, yeah. In this battle, I'm a bit worried about 
a scutari line uh, because well they just often don't cut it against enemy phalanxes so they are just not good enough but then again I think a cavalry could achieve some rather nice things. Let's see if we could route their cavalry and perhaps even the general. That would be a nice snipe. But I doubt that we actually managed to do that. So Greek cavalry, militia cavalry, militia cavalry, Greek cavalry. Okay, Greek cavalry is rather okay, because most likely we will be able to catch it and thus wipe it out. But uh, those militia cavalries are a bit problematic because they will be running from us. And as you can see, that Greek cavalry is already done for. And I think we could actually send uh, these guys to hunt down the ballistae. And let's leave these guys into a threatening position over there. And then let's see if we could catch that uh, militia cavalry as well. Okay, good. So practically this flank over here... Oh, it seems we have a new target over there. Good. So, yeah, it seems we are having rather full reign of the battlefield at the moment with the cavalry. So if the enemy tries to maneuver something, we should be rather always ahead of them. Unless, of course, I'm blindsided by something. But yeah, now those ballistas are dealt with. The militia cavalry has routed... I guess. They have brought even more men. And no well, of we course, this is a bad left. thing. So, so much for our battlefield superiority. Now it seems we just have to. No! Don't go there! Ah! This is exactly what I'm meaning. I just have to keep eyes on the every part of the map it seems okay now could we take down the general uh, losing him yeah so basically i think our best hope is to try to route the enemy phalanxes because I don't think that we can actually survive in prolonged melee and most of you guys could charge carefully carefully now against those peltas we need to avoid those hoplites because they will eat all of this cavalry for breakfast. If I'm not careful. And you guys go there and avoid those hoplites over there. Are those actually... Yeah, there's the armored hoplites. Good. And you guys need to pull back a bit over there. And it actually seems that we might be flanked by the enemy troops over there. So we need to be wary of that as well. And of course it's militia cavalry. I just hope it would be Greek cavalry, but alas. So basically, I think we need to send... We need to send these guys out to hunt them. They should be relatively fresh but still I think their cavalry is actually fresh here and 
How are you guys doing? Okay, I think we will begin to taking kind of um, uh, dismantling the enemy one unit at a time. So, first of all, let's send some of the scutari to do battle. And I guess this is actually the only way to inflict some serious harm. Except perhaps we are inflicting the harm on our own units at the moment. Okay, those cavalries are being routed. And yeah, good. Okay, they are broken. Good. So let's see where we can find our next victim. I guess it's going to be that one over there. And you guys just take down those militia cavalries if you can. And then these guys do take care of those peltasts, please. Where are you? Over there. And if I remember correctly, this actually is the more dangerous army, infantry-wise. So who is hitting? Okay, those guys are being hit by something. These guys are doing relatively okay, but there is one Peltast unit. Good cavalry. Okay, the general. Wipe it out. All of it. Okay, they are wavering. Actually, cavalry charts perhaps could have broken them. Now our cavalry is a bit too far over there. But actually, the situation is so hectic that I don't think I can spare the APM to do anything about that. Good. The king has gone to meet his ancestors. His lackeys now rightly fear us. Okay, this is looking a bit bad. Okay, uh, I need you guys... Okay, good, they are breaking. They are breaking, excellent. So I need you guys to do something over there, and then I need... Yeah, nice, for the reinforcements to arrive, and good. We are routing these guys as well. So now the Skutari can join here to put on some pressure. Uh, where is our cavalry units here? And I think... Perhaps these guys could turn the tide on that flank. And you guys could come to join the fray. Hopefully soon. And yeah, I don't think that some haste would go amiss over there. Break, break, don't turn, don't turn. Okay, good. That top light unit is breaking. And you guys go to deal with those. Run those hop lights down. We don't want to face them again at some point. Most definitely not. And bodyguard is still alive and kicking over there. We have some cavalry over there. And these guys are moving. Let's put them there. And let's do an, uh, another charge over there. And I um, guess this cavalry is ready to do something again. Good, those guys are breaking. And those armor top lights are breaking. Good. 
Uh, then we have... I mean, come on. This armor top lights unit is outnumbered perhaps one to six. And um, they are fully surrounded. They are about to be charged by cavalry to the rear. And what they do? They are only shaken and killing my men at their hearts. This is no a battle, this is a okay, good. No. That's one unit down. And actually, those are militia hoplites. So, um... And it seems the enemy is actually pulling back. But as you can see, our infantry has taken rather tremendous losses at the moment. So let's see if we could route as many of these units as possible and practically make sure that we don't need to fight against these hoplites anymore. But practically it seems that... Um, Yeah, you go just in there and charge. I don't care if you are exhausted or not. I want to take down these militia hoplites. Okay, it seems the militia hoplites are actually taking down my cavalry. And our cavalry here might be doing against something against those hoplites. Okay, they have broken one unit. Let's break another one. And here, let's try to break these hoplites as well. I mean, charging hoplites from the front, yeah. Let's see what will happen. Mm, yeah, nothing good. But we are charging from the rear as well. And now some good things are happening. Except on this side. Ah! Just break. these guys down. Okay. Okay. I guess that's not working too well. I guess a bit too close. Well, it seems we need to actually send this army to Thessalonica to be replenished. We have that other army actually intact, fully intact. So if we move the general, this general, to that army, I think we can continue the fight next to Apollonia. And we do have some guys routing over there and... That's actually quite a lot of hoplites getting away. Okay, I guess that's it. This is a great a victory. clear victory, the and I think we actually managed to wipe out both of those armies. So actually, Scutari did rather okay, or at least some of them. But yeah, this was mostly cavalry show. Okay, good. So, we can get some reinforcements. Mm. Yeah, I think you should go to take charge of that army. You should take charge of this army. And I guess we want to get rid of 
at least barbarian cavalry and hire some hoplites in their stead and um, I think if we besiege Apollonia we kind of force this Greek army to attack us Perhaps this this looks most likely like a highland or a hill. So they will hold for six turns, but I think they will charge out before that because we have reinforcing army coming that way. And uh, if they didn't do anything, well, that's going to be bad for them. And this army actually, once again, we will do the cavalry trick so we can begin the siege. And the infantry can follow, and because Markomani should fall to us rather soon here in the north, yeah, I think um, we will combine forces and then next turn begin the seeds. I'm a bit worried about those Britons over here, so let's send. Some reinforcing cavalry units to Samar Briva. And perhaps let's hire some mercenaries. There as well. Marsilia is actually producing quite a few of Scutari. And I think Kapu as well. So let's replace the Scutari with um, peasants. And I think we soon have another army ready to head east. And um, I think we have a turn. Okay, Chakomi deranged. Uh oh. So we have minus two command and minus one influence and minus one morale. And um, they do have royal pikemen. And they have reinforcing army. So, unless the terrain favors us, we need to kind of pull back. Because I doubt... I didn't know that this is such a poor general. I mean... Okay. So there is actually potential in the terrain. I think we could actually take this battle. Yeah. So the reinforcements, enemy reinforcements will be coming from that direction, which is actually rather perfect for us. But first, yeah, the royal pikemen were in this initial army. So this is going to be the most crucial battle and we will be using the javelins in here and then perhaps our cavalry can do something are they actually <coughs> waiting for those reinforcements So, are those light lancers? I think they are. So, basically, actually it seems that we need to move out with our cavalry. Because I don't want any of the javelins wasted on these guys. Then again, light lancers... I'm not fully convinced that actually my cavalry is able to deal with them, but... I guess we just have to hope for the best. Getting some of the enemies to rout could give us a bit of an advantage. And just be careful not to run into those pikes.
Okay, good. Good. And then you guys can go after those ballistae. And actually, I think you can go there as well. Good. And then, if we could force some of these royal pikes to turn their backs while we are able to fire at them, it would be just great. I think those archers are positioned in such a way that... Okay, that's not good. That's not good at all. Get away from there. We don't want to engage that general. Okay, another bodyguard. I think our cavalry should go here. Yeah. So if we could land some solid hits with those javelins. No, 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 no. Not like this. Yeah. So could we take on the enemy general? And of course, yeah. Okay, they did thwerp around a bit. That's enemy fortunately only Greek cavalry. <laughs> Don't fire at the militia hoplites, come on guys. Okay, good. It seems their generals are not among the bravest either. general heading that way. Actually, run, run. Okay. This is becoming a bit too familiar. Okay, good. They're actually routing. Excellent. Just break the last royal pikes and then the enemy bodyguard. Good. So let's see if the infantry over there could do something and... Not that something not being breaking. There are militia hoplites. Okay, I think we could actually beat them. Where is this, this cavalry unit? Come here. The enemy army runs. Now hunt them down. And if we could take down the enemy generals, good. This one taken down. So they... Okay, good. It's a victory. Nice. It was quite a bit too close, but victory nonetheless. And actually we managed to take down... Where is this guy? Royal Pikes. Which is actually really important. I don't know if we can get the settlement straight away, but perhaps our general is able to get some command talent at last. Okay, I guess that's heroic enough. Unfortunately, it seems Abrias got away. But it might actually be the case that Bulatora will fall. Not quite. And yeah, these guys are charging now. Aloeus and Ducalos the Wrathful. Okay, 
that should be relatively easy. Uh, this, on the other hand, well, Royal Pikes, and this time... I think we will take care of the reinforcements first, because they are close, they are charging our back, so that should be rather easy. And against that initial army, we need to reposition somehow. But yeah, cavalry will actually should be enough to deal with the... If I can only see where the enemy settlement is over there. Okay, good. But the main question is how to actually deal with the enemy's main army. Because now the terrain is not quite so good for us. But I think we need to utilize... I guess this is the same hill. Yeah, so let's move over there, and then we just need to deal with the enemy forces over here. Fortunately, rather limited. From the field like frightened goats and them down does the general still survive all. come on okay well I guess he got away then we need to move here rather quickly do they have um, ballistae bodyguard actually relatively large bodyguard and light lancers but our infantry line actually I think we actually should pull back a bit because there is this bit higher top right over here so let's head over there warmed up and fresh yeah I think we need to deal with the enemy cavalry first because we saw what happened last time when cavalry under this guy went against enemy cavalry. And if we could get some flanks. Okay. Better still, if we can get the enemy general. Good, and their formations are disrupted quite a bit. Now the light lancers are the main problem. But I think we actually yeah. of the enemy army is running like a startled goat. Hunt him. Goats make good eating. And if we could just take down the enemy general, but alas. Apparently that's not the case. Okay. So, time to take down the Ballistae and then the Light Lancers. We cannot most likely afford for them to charge our infantry line. And then the Light Lancers. We can let some Ballista crew members get away. And perhaps our cavalry charts in this side, yeah, will be forcing some of the enemy phalanxes to move, to intercept. Well, unfortunately only militia hoplites, but better than nothing, and actually the other phalanxes are standing still. The rear charts would be rather nice. Okay, we are tired. That's bad. Are these guys actually exhausted? They're moving so slowly. Wavering 
break. Gut. And now some well-earned rest. The enemy is forming again. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, if they want to waste the javelins, that's of course their right to do so. Militia Hoplite should break rather easily. Phalanx Pikes... Okay, actually it was only one Royal Pikeman unit. Good, and we have routed them. Uh, is there a limited amount? Yeah, okay, we can use the horn. Magic horn. They are breaking. So they have only one unit of levy pikes remaining. And I think we should actually use our general to deal with them. They should be in quite bad shape. They have taken casualties. Their general has fled. Their friends are fleeing. So, why to fight? Still, Pulatsora is not ours, but do they have any more armies to throw at us? I doubt that. Okay, actually, despite rather poor command talents, this army is doing actually rather okay. And no, we are not going to fight this one. Royal Pikes, Phalanx Pikemen. Uh, actually, yeah, some Royal Pikes. Macedonian Cavalry. Yep. Ah, okay, actually, I think we are going to fight this battle. Quite intensive a couple of turns, it seems. And uh, do we have high ground? Actually, we do have quite a nice high ground. Some of you said that I cannot corner camp, because this is legendary difficulty, so, or rather extreme difficulty, so let's not corner camp. Let's just abuse the terrain to extreme. I don't know if it will be quite enough, but at least the enemy have to work for their victory a bit more. In winter, they might actually become tired. Well, I don't know, as they're marching in phalanx. And that's marching, not running. So, yeah. And I think this actually might be the final battle of this episode. 
Let's see if the AI has some more nasty surprises up their sleeve. But yeah, I'm a bit doubtful about the art success chances. Perhaps with corner camping, that would have disrupted some of the enemy formations. That would have helped, but probably not quite enough. I mean, you guys could break. Okay, a good start. Let's turn, run them back a bit, and then charge the light lancers as well. That's bad. Well, at the very least, the enemy will get their nose bloodied. What is their general unit? Greek cavalry. I mean, I guess we will just charge then. against royal pikemen might not be the best idea I guess that was quite clear. But we did manage to inflict some casualties, so... Even small Spanish armies have teeth. Ah, okay. So I guess we will have rather proper final battle after all. Actually, taking Apollonia at the end of this episode would be rather cool. And the terrain is excellent. We have really good general. The Greeks have reinforcements coming somewhere over there, I guess. I think actually our chances are rather good in this battle. So let's just form up. Uh, utilize fire at will. Slingers will do what they can. General over here and then oh we have one additional barbarian mercenary unit over there. And then just cavalry wings to the flanks. And ah, that's really a lot of missile cavalry. Well, let them come to us. At least a bit closer. But yeah, I think I need to send in my cavalry at some point. The left flank looks rather vulnerable. I think we will go there with this cavalry wing and these guys will guard against the missile cavalries or rather most of the missile cavalries or rather militia cavalries to be more precise and perhaps a couple of you guys could 
charge those peltasts. And you guys... Rodian Slingers, actually that's a good catch. A really important catch. Long range missile unit. Okay, is that cavalry axe? Okay, good. They are coming to melee. And these guys as well. Nice. And actually the enemy general is coming to melee. What? A militia cavalry beating our long shields. That's... there is something so fundamentally wrong in that. But if we could just take down the enemy general... That would go a long way. Helping us win this battle. Good. Now he can drink with his ancestors and watch his warriors flee. And let those guys wait for a while until the enemies get more tired. Perhaps we could spare one unit to hit the enemy peltasts over there. And it seems it's time. And you guys... Yeah, just hunt those guys down. Here, I guess relatively. Grease some archers as well. So I guess we are done here. Perhaps you guys could take care of those. Where is the other cavalry units? Actually, these two. You go take care of that and... Um, perhaps we should form up again in here. And let's send in our general to take care of the militia uplights and let's... Oh, let's actually not send him. Okay, and I guess you guys can form up over there. you could use a hand. Okay, well, perhaps that was not the best idea. Okay, they are breaking. Good. And then let's hunt down the le uh, rest of the peltasts. So what's happening in here? Militia hoplites breaking. That's always good news happening in here a rather big enemy reinforcing army joining the fray and these guys are tired so I think um, I will actually pull these guys back to the main battle line Who 
Just be able to engage. Even some of them, so the rest will turn around. Well, apparently not. This uh, obstruction could actually help us. Because often the AI turns to fight if some of the unit is in melee. And that should work to our advantage here. Yeah. So I think we will be able to break the that unit. Now hunt them down. Some more missile cavalry is coming. But I guess we will let those guys get away. Who are already fleeing. Because we do have another battle ahead of us. Fortunately, this time a bit less enemy cavalry. Actually, the general is leading the charge over here. Well, that was a rather interesting choice. Good, because now we can... With some luck, luck actually take him down. At least inflict some rather heavy casualty. Okay, let's order the troops back in here. And once again. Well. It's okay for me, if they want to charge Phalanx from the front, by all means do so. Perhaps we should actually turn this around a bit. So, are you guys... some of you guys are... well, actually they are all tired. Okay, some are, some are winded, some are exhausted, and the bodyguard is fresh. So, the longer... Th oh, that's a rather nasty looking flank. Let's see if we could drop the enemy. Well, apparently not. They don't make just anyone general. Those guys have to know the strategic, uh, strategic cunning of not attacking phalanx from the front with missile cavalry. But as time goes on, yeah, only warmed up. So I think we can suffer these light casualties rather, well, lightly. Because now we have fresher cavalry than the enemy. And that of course means that we should be able to break them rather easily. Because, well, now we can catch them. Okay, let's form a strike team for from you guys and just let, let's get going. And I think our main targets are the Peldusts. Because they have more men, more missiles. And actually, if we want to take Apollonia, we should um, try to break... Or rather, we should try to annihilate the whole enemy army. Well, let's see. We will do our best. Let's see how far that will go. Okay. Exhausted. Perhaps a captain who has already broken once 
does not inspire too much confidence in his troops. Especially as one of the Greek armies has already lost or ra rather fled the field. Militia hoplites, exhausted militia hoplites. Exhausted hoplites, I think we will just push in. I guess don't go too close. Okay, they are actually hoplites. So you are fighting most likely against. Okay, not hoplites. Actually, quite outnumbered. Well. They are lost. That was a good move from the AI. No question about that. You guys engage the hoplites over there, and you guys can take down the routing enemies. And perhaps we could send the cavalry a bit closer. it's time to send in the infantry as well. Let's just keep our general alive. The enemy warlord shows his worth. Nothing. Any of our warriors would die rather than run. I'm very sad. I am you are not fighting over there. Okay. So this is turning to us quite decisively. And a nice, nice thing is that since our troops are rather fresh, we are able to even run down the enemies with uh, infantry, or rather their infantry with our infantry. I doubt that Apollonia actually will fall straight away, but at the very least the defenses are weakened quite a bit. Just catch them. Could we take down the general? I'm not actually sure then if if the enemy captain survives the battle, will the army still survive still? I know that if enemy general survives, then the army will survive. 
but actually the captain got away, so I guess if we can inflict enough d uh, damage, we will see what will happen in cases such as this. Ah, okay, there is some straggler over somewhere. Okay, but a rather nice victory. Really nice victory. And let's see if Apollonia will fall. Well, it will fall next turn in any case. No matter what. Ah, okay. So, Captain surviving won't be quite enough. And I think we will just occupy it because we want to replenish the troops. And for that, we need the population over there. So, Chakomi is still not very good commander, but I guess he's better than during last turn. And we should soon have armies ready over there. In Capua, will Great Market do something? Well, not exactly. I think we will. We can use the money a bit better with. Some other way in Croton, I think Trader might be good. Yeah. And then let's see about our new settlement. Temple of Mars might actually be rather nice for a while but yeah and I think we will go with Hall of Heroes first Orders. and we don't want this Macedonian army get any funny ideas Orders. Orders. are we able to just grab this well, I guess that will make a nice starting battle for the next episode. From Thessalonica, actually, we could charge these guys in. <laughs> okay, so now they have some nice additional defenders for the settlement. Okay, well, that didn't go exactly as planned. But I guess no matter. We will take the settlement in any case. And uh, let's combine some of the cavalry and infantry units, whatever we can. So the retraining won't take so long. And we will begin, of course, with the most weakened units, because that will also help the public order. And it seems help the public order indeed needs. So is this guy some kind of a just horrible governor? Heartless ruler, ruler, no enemies. I mean, I guess he should be doing okay. Perhaps the garrison could be a bit bigger. So here in the north, well, Vicus Malcomani perhaps could be starved out. And Vicus Gothi will be besieged. So I think our, all of our armies are actually doing something useful at the moment. But let's gather the troops in here. And do we have someone who could actually take command of the troops here? I don't think we actually need mercenaries for this army. And we will have more troops from Patavium and actually some cavalry as well. Good. So, I think we have actually managed to break both Macedon and Greece. Okay, granted that Macedon, Macedonia has a rather big army over here, but it's rather... Um, cut off from their settlements. Uh, it will take several turns for it to get back in where it actually matters. And losing four rather full armies is devastating blow for the Greek cities. Let's see if we can actually 
uh, see it from the rankings. So military ranking, Macedon, yeah, they are practically broken. Greek cities, I think they are broken as well. So I think uh, during a couple of next episodes we will be able to take uh, whole of Greece and most likely these areas here as well. Uh, probably we will be at war with Thrace and perhaps even with Dacia. And actually a good question is, should we send this new army against Dacians? Most likely we should, because Germania is also in its last throws practically. I don't think they have much else than these two settlements. Let's see actually from the uh, faction rankings. So territorial ranking, Greek cities have four settlements, not good for them. Macedon has four settlements, not good for them either. Germania, two or three. So that should be rather easy. Scipii, actually eight. That's going to be problematic. So they are taking down Carthage. And that means that once Carthage falls, they will be focusing on us and that will mean trouble. So we are a bit on a timer. We have uh, 32 regions. I think if we take all of these, we are somewhere around 45, perhaps 45-ish. But taking the last five from this region is going to be a pain. But I guess that's one of the things that make extreme difficulty campaigns interesting. So this will be everything for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you want to support these videos and the channel, you can become a member that will unlock some nice perks, emojis, uh, as well as uh, you have uh, more emphasis on your say what versus battles you want to see and what kind of campaigns I want to play. And a huge shout out the, to the current channel member, Napoleon Complex. Your support is greatly treasured. So everyone have a great rest of the day. Quality old games out.